Yo, what is up, everybody? Harrick and BX here. Welcome back to another episode of Breaking the Mold, your Tuesday night delight here on the Roman Collector's YouTube channel. Let's go around the yard, say what's up to the rest of the crew. And a John Addict, I'll start with you, Bob. How you doing? Yo, what's good? I'm good, man. Fucking chilling here. Got a futon in the room, so I don't futon. leave the room Great. for no for nothing now. You got a futon? <laughs> oh, you just bunking up there. <laughs> he's my wife is like, new, he's breaking in his new couch. My, <laughs> my wife is like, I never thought you'd leave me for a piece of furniture. I was like, you bought it. Thank you. Like you know, like <laughs> no, nah, but in all in all honesty, it's just I guess because. You know, I, t I tend to like watch TV like when my wife's working. If I finish work early, but I, w I why listen to the TV on fifteen when you can listen to it on forty? You know what I mean? So I'm like, sorry, I'm upstairs. You could come visit me now. Like, fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's funny that um, my my wife and my daughter are addicted to uh, my PlayStation, so they're up here more than me. So <laughs> it, this is more like a family thing. You know what I mean than anything else. I came up here before the door. My wife and my daughter were on on here playing PlayStation. So I just, you know, sat on the floor and watched them. You know what I mean? It was nice to see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's cool. I wanted to ask you, like, how is the PS5 turning out for you? Because you know, you see the shit online about people having trouble and their system getting wiped or whatever. So, have you had any issues with? It? No, I had I had one issue with a download, but um, it it rectified itself. Like, I just had to turn the PlayStation off. So what had happened was I had uh, bought the, the Miles Morales Spider-Man, and it came with the original edition for the PlayStation 4. Mm -hmm. I, down I, I had downloaded the Miles Morales first and said, I don't want to finish this game because it seems like I'm, it seems like it's connected to the old one, right? And you had mentioned that to me last week, Jose. And um, so I said, fuck it, download it. When I had downloaded the, the Peter Parker version of it, the other one disappeared and I couldn't find it. So I was like, what the fuck? And it said to download again and to, like almost like add uh, add a code if you need to. I'm like, add a code, the game, the fucking game. I put it in, in the in your in the box. You downloaded it. What the fuck are you talking about? You know? I had to shut the PlayStation off and when it rebooted, I guess it found it. It was there. So aside from that, that's it. I don't have many games, so it's just the two Spider-Man games and uh, the game it comes with, which is some um, like Astro Robot, Astro Robot game or something. I forget what it's called. And um, it's it's one of those games geared towards um, the new controller that they're trying to push. You know what I mean? Like all the little options and gimmicks that it does, uh, which is pretty cool. So in in the game, like you have to do everything you can think of with the remote. You know, before I got on, I was playing the remote. And I was, you know, going like this, and I was blowing on it, and I was zippering up something <laughs> with my finger, and it's just a pretty cool game. But that's the game that my my daughter and my wife play. You know, there's like this cute little robot, and he's walking around. It's kind of like a, you know, like a Crash Bandicoot, you know, Super yeah. Mario type of style. You collect coins and break stuff, and okay. you know, stuff like that. You get like villain. You don't have like like a real villain, but you get like bad bosses at the end. Where, okay. you know, you kind of have to like outsmart the computer to beat them. You know, like shoot the arrow in this direction and dodge mm -hmm. this, and then the, it's like an old school game almost. Yeah, if yeah. the controller has is like a motion sensor now, then it's almost like a Wii. Basically, you have that like Wii functionality mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the controller. So I've heard it could do a lot of cool things when like you're playing games. So you know, that's cool. Can't wait to check that out. Yeah, I, I like it. So far, so good. Uh, I have the Xbox too, and I'm more. I'm oh, kind of more impressed with. I'm more impressed with the PlayStation. Oh, you like the uh, PS more? Okay. Yeah, I mean, the Xbox hasn't done anything, you know, yet anything mind blowing. I have that Valhalla, the Valhalla um, Assassin's Creed game for it. It's pretty good, but you know, it's basic. It's not nothing has wowed me yet. You got it hooked up to the same uh, TV there. You got your whole system set up there. Yeah, so like if I go like this, you'll see. Click of a button, you can play it. You switch between your PS5 and your can you see that or no? Can you yep. see that? Yep. So, yeah, so Boba has, Xbox, <laughs> has the Xbox and Django has the PlayStation. <laughs> nice, nice, yeah. nice. Sweet. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Yeah. 
All right. So, Brian Brink, what's up, man? Hey, I'm good. I'm great. There's, uh, let's see, I'm not working every night anymore. Mm-hmm. Just waiting to get these holidays over with so I can go back to being on vacation and stuff. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, Let's see. Uh, I watched Tombstone for the first time this weekend. Tombstone. That's so damn. Old. That's oh, for the first time? Yes. First time. Had you had you seen Wyatt Earp already with Kevin yeah. Costner? Wyatt Earp okay. is one of my favorite movies. Okay. And so I've I've been I've heard it's like, oh man, Tombstone's way better. And you know, I guess it's one of those to each their own type of things because. Um, yeah. Tombstone was a good movie as well, but um, I didn't. I don't know. I didn't like it better, but I think that's mainly because like I really like that supporting cast on Wyatt Earp. Man, I like Michael Madsen, and um, I'm a big fan of Douglas Quaid, so I really liked his version of uh, Doc Holliday and stuff like that. So, um, but it was still good. But they were definitely, you could tell, this, just two different styles of directing and storytelling. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're, they, they're both good in their own. Yeah. I don't know if I could pick one over the other, honestly. Okay. I can still. I can't either, JD. I can't. They're both, good. they're both really good movies. They tell a similar story. Like you know, there's some there's some stuff that when you watch Tombstone was like a little kind of too fast paced. Like you know, that's why I think Brian likes the Wyatt Earp a little more because it it took time to develop the story as opposed mm-hmm. to Tombstone was just like this is what it is. You know what I mean? Because I I think they differ by over what forty five minutes or something. Possibly. I I, yeah. I also really like Kurt Russell's performance. You know. No. No. Oh yeah, you're right. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> no, no, but the, he definitely had some good parts, you know, for sure. Um, uh, and uh, I finished watching the movie Ava. I don't know if you guys have seen that or heard of it. It's on That's recent, right? Somewhere yeah, it's recent. on Netflix now. It, uh, the movie actually came out this year, uh, and they and it's already gone to streaming, I believe. Um, or was it last year? I can't remember. Was the star in it? Was, uh, Jessica Chastain uh, was in it, but also, um, you know, like John Malkovich was in there, who's always fantastic, and uh, Colin Farrell, who's just, he's just awful. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just get sick of him. You know, it's like his Australian accent makes him unique, but dude, just dump it and pre- pretend to be an American, and he might be, I don't know. Otherwise, he just seems kind of fake. Is um, he even headlining films anymore? That dude, I don't really can't don't remember know. really films coming out. Said starring Colin, yeah, and Colin Farrell, man. Um, he, he was in Fantastic Beasts, right, Brian? The first one. Yes, he's I he's in there, but <laughs> yeah, he is. He's he's uh he was just uh, being portrayed. You know, he he turned. You know. Johnny Depp's character turns into Johnny Depp, like he's he was disguised as him. No, Colin Farrell's uh, character turns into Johnny Depp, right at the yeah, end. Exactly, yeah, exactly. That's yeah, what yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, with that, uh, what was he drinking the poly juice? Spoilers. Yeah, the poly, poly <laughs> potion. Yeah. Poly juice. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, that Ava movie. No, it's funny. Like I watched it, and you know, it's a good, you know, secret agent kind of movie. I kind of like it just because Justine's character. I mean, she's a badass, but she carries some baggage with her. So you kind of feel bad for her and sometimes, too, and she's kind of vulnerable as well. But, uh, you know, I went to go see review after I after I watch a movie, like I make my decision, then I go check it. Right. And I'm like, you know, Rotten Tomatoes is splat across the board and shit. And it's like, <laughs> they're like you know, just another movie with a, a person who's a badass. And, you know, it could be unique, but they decided not to be and blah, blah. I was like, God mm-hmm. damn it, man. Fuck these critics, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't usually agree. Like, either. I was like, are you not entertained? What the hell? <laughs> are you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and then, of course, behind me, uh, I yeah. finally got some time to 
Look to that. put up my uh, mm -hmm. privacy curtain for my collection. So when I work in here, it's not so bad. That but, looks um, so awesome. Yeah, looks so awesome. Let me put you on the solo layout real quick just to see what you got. So you got some TFs all laid out there. You got some Mythics. Yeah. It's looking really good, man. Looks good. Yeah, so... Um, Star Wars up there in the upper left. And, I, know, like the, I like the lighting looks better in there too, man. Looks good. I mean, I've always had these lights up here. I just, you know, the shelves just got so cluttered with stuff, I just stopped putting it on. But was but, the um, background always the same color? Yeah, yeah. The, it, uh, it looks a lot cleaner now, Brian. It does. Amazing. It does. Well, I yeah. feel like you could see it. it you yeah. know, like, lit. You could see actually what's there. Well, the trick, the trick is with these shelves. So when I first got them, I was like, I was really digging them. But then something started to bother me. And they used to have this middle bar. Um and uh so uh someone in the realm posted pictures like a year ago they had the same shelves i noticed the middle bar was missing and uh i was like dude does it work like are they stable and he's like yep and so i was like i'm gonna do that eventually and so i finally did so i took out the middle bar and it opens up the shelf i mean yeah. one of the things that always pissed me off is like i got five dinobots but you can't display them with a bar down the middle mm -hmm. you know? right. so, mm -hmm. so like once once i did that i was like really really happy and uh i'm still working on the top but you know i was very very pleased to see see the see the curtain rod there yeah oh so, yeah how that goes um i was pleased to see that omega fit on the top he just barely fits with like a quarter inch uh hitting the ceiling so and then as you can see here i've just showed you here's the mess the mess it just mm -hmm. so a lot of work to do there just out of sight just out of sight a lot, of, a lot of work to do there <laughs> so, <laughs> i didn't realize it wrapped all the way around yeah mm -hmm. there's avengers and shit falling all over the place so yeah oh wow bro it's a work. work in progress it's all right though. You're working the camera angle right now, so what we so what we see is looking like. Perfect. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing. You, I have a pilot's always in the corner right now. You would be like, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, the um, you know, I had always planned like before I actually put a real desk in here. I just had like a TV table with a with a couple BB7 boxes on it, believe it or not, and I put the laptop on there. And it was my plan to just basically broadcast from a different angle, like every week. People are like, what are you doing in there? And I was just, uh -huh. uh, yeah. Rotating table. That's what I wanted to do too, Brian. Yeah. Yeah. I eventually want to podcast and walk around the whole time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you guys be able to see me with the camera following me around the room. I just don't know how to do any of that yet. So we'll see. One day. One day. One day. Yeah. We're getting there. Soon enough. All right. JD, what's up, dude? What's up, my people? How are ya? How how are we all doing? My, that's a big round. Cool. <laughs> cool. I'm good, brother. I'm good. 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 Yeah, I'm good. You know, just been hanging out and <laughs> working and going to doctor's appointments and all that doctor. good stuff. Yep. Doctor. Just doctor. Keeping up on stuff. That's all. Doctor's Check it out. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Gotta stay up on that. Gotta stay up yeah. on that. Trying to get ready for Christmas and you know. Yep. Just, I see the the work you've been putting in on Chris, man, it should looks looks, looks good. Looks thanks. Good. Thanks. Yeah, I've been tattooing like a madman. Uh, shit is amazing, man. Shit is amazing. So everything all good? How was the weekend? Everything uh, pretty good. We just uh, pretty much just hung out here. Whenever I saw my mom, it was her birthday, and oh, nice! Oh, uh, happy birthday, too. Yep. Happy birthday mm -hmm. mom! Saturday was her birthday. Yesterday was my brother's. Nice. Happy birthday to him! Yeah. <laughs> so. Wow, birthdays all around. Are you are you getting some cupcakes out of this? Are you eating cupcakes? Uh yeah, yep. Chan made some cupcakes, of course. <laughs> some, uh, chocolate cupcakes with peanut butter icing. That's her jam. That's yep. like her her uh, speciality. Yes, it was good stuff. Very good stuff. All right, all right, and Big Dom, how are you tonight, man? 
Pretty good. How's everything? Um, enjoyed my weekend. I uh, I was able to pick up an Xbox X uh, uh, this weekend uh, for my nephew. Uh, he's uh, is one of his things on his Christmas list. So I was helping his mother trying to grab one and was able to, it was funny. He was like, um, I guess GameStop did like a, a drop this past Saturday. Was it Saturday? I think it was Saturday. Saturday or Sunday. I think it was Saturday. Um, where they like announced at like four o'clock. Like, I guess they, they found out like 10 minutes before that they were going to be able to release pre-orders only in store. So it was like a mad rush to GameStop uh, on Saturday at four o'clock. So, <laughs> well, crazy. Right. Or you actually have to go the, in order to pre-order it. You can't do it online. Yeah. So yeah, you can't do it online. So they, they they did this because I guess there was a lot of complaints about the bots and people trying to order pre-order online and they're not able to do it because you know they're they're selling out too quick online. All this bullshit. So uh, GameStop basically told uh, customers to come in store and they released like uh, I think 10 or 15 Xboxes and 10 and 15 uh, PlayStations to pre-order in store only so and I guess they I, really sorry go ahead, go ahead. Did, did those Xbox pre-orders already go up or are they just going up now they no, went up they were... a while back yeah. Okay, uh, that's what I thought. And just about like I think it was like four, three days before the, the the PlayStation went up. So it was it was like every time they went up, that they would sell out. So it's like so you know, it's just the same bullshit. Yeah, same bullshit that we're experienced with action figures. Gotcha. You know, yeah. where pre-orders are selling out with uh, in like in milliseconds, and people have no chance of getting it. And so their their resolution to the problem is basic opening up pre-orders in stores and you would have to go in store to pre-order the items so and then the funny thing is that I mean I didn't I didn't even know this like I guess they they put a uh, they sent out an email or they put it on Twitter and all that bullshit and and I was just shopping running around with my wife and we stopped to grab a slice of pizza at a pizzeria that was like right next to a GameStop and then lo and behold while uh, say again well look it was the pizza but it was a score yeah. I'd say seven. <laughs> seven. It was good enough. It was good enough. Yeah, it was good enough. You know, but we we were hungry and we needed to eat something. And there was a pre pizzeria across the way, so we stopped there. And I was like, well, let me just eat a slice of pizza. I'll walk into GameStop later on. And then while we were eating the, uh, eating some pizza, like a line started forming, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Dom and knows this to get on the line. Don't even ask him like, to be there. I'm like, like, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then all of a sudden, I'm like, my, my, my wife is like, maybe they're giving out PlayStations and Xboxes. And I was like, I think they are. And then, and then all of a sudden, you, you, see one, you see one of the store employees like handing out tickets. And I'm like, fuck! The, they're hand, you know, they got, they're, they're, they're handing out systems. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> so we fucking, we fucking ran out. We ran outside, and uh, it was actually perfect timing because we were actually finished up. And I ran outside, uh, and the, by the time the guy got to the end of the line where I was, he had one, he had one Xbox X uh, console left, and he gave me the ticket. And I, I the, the pain in the ass thing was is that. Their their systems were going down all day long, uh, like throughout the like throughout the time we were waiting, because they had to like do the pre-orders through their systems, and like it took like three hours for them to for me to finally get uh yeah. you know purchase the item, which was a pre-order by the way. It's not like I physically got the item in the store, wow. so yeah, it's like it's getting bad. delivered. Yeah, it's getting delivered to my house like supposedly the end of this week, but. You know that's not guaranteed either so and of course you know it was it wasn't just the system itself it was you know a bundle which you know they force like all this bullshit on you oh the game the the buy. Yeah. controller and you know the memory yeah. card or whatever <laughs> whatever so, they could fucking sell you with the new system yeah like so. it came out to like 750 dollars after the whole, all, all of it was said and done so oh, he's so he's been a good boy it's good Nice. He made on he made honor roll first marking period so, damn right, he dude. deserves wow. it so. How old is he? He's twelve. He's twelve years old. 12 years. Oh, that's the perfect age. This is gonna, this is gonna be the yeah, yeah. His favorite present. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So. so wait, is his, is, are his parents buying it or is his uncle Dom buying it? No, it's it's his parents. It's not. Yeah, you know, I can't. 
I can't steal. <laughs> steal that. <laughs> what are no you charging this? Nah, yeah, bro. You know, man, I, after you went through. I can't steal. I yeah, can't what's... steal that thunder. <laughs> what's what's the did you just say, what are you charging them? You're going to be like, yo, yo, yo. yo you're oh, gonna oh, gonna oh, really oh dude. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm charging them 1500 1500 <laughs> right off the bat. Yeah, dude. Fuck, yeah, man. This shit don't come free. <laughs> <laughs> I just fucking there stand in line for that shit. My pizza got cold. Yo, you owe me 1500 bucks. I gave him the the, the the bro family price, yo. <laughs> the bro family. <laughs> the bro. <laughs> oh man, but I I mean, yeah, those things are sold out. So fortunate you were able to get one. Just happened to be at the right place. Oh right yeah, and it, and it was so funny because I was like the last one in line, and it's like the line just kept like after he gave the ticket, he announced like you know halfway through the line, he announced like you know because everybody's all after PlayStation. So like, you know, halfway through the line, he announced like no more PlayStations and like half the line left. And then like the, the rest <laughs> of the tickets were Xbox. And he gave me, he gave me the Xbox. And I think, I think at the end he had like two Xbox S is still available. And, and by the time more people came to the line, he gave away those tickets, but uh, they were still coming like, you know, hours afterwards that people were still coming, lining up. And I was like, I had been the person at the end of the line telling them like, oh, they already gave out tickets and they're all sold out and, you know, <laughs> turning down all these people that are walking in the line. And then at one point I didn't say, I didn't say anything. Like, I'm like, I'm not telling any more people. I feel so fucking bad. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden the line like grows, like doubled the size. And there's like, a, there's like 10 people behind me. I'm like, I'm like, I'm not doing it. I'm not fucking doing it. <laughs> should have crushed the hopes. You should have put the, you know, the, the ticket in your pocket and be like, yo, I'll give you a... <laughs> like, yo, anybody want to cut me there 50 was, bucks? Yeah, there was, there, was, <laughs> there was people. There were people. Actually, some of the people who got some PlayStations in the front of the line actually sold their tickets to people at the back of the line. So... That, oh, shit, that, wow. that 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 was def, that oh. was definitely going on. That was <laughs> <laughs> yo, you, you can fucking Holy hustle. Shit, anything. that is fucked up. You can hustle yeah. anything. I think it's because they were already sold out of them. <laughs> oh, dude, oh dude, dude. And, and and these weren't like. Adults. Oh my god, were, did you these, stick around for that? That would have been great. There was kids. There was <laughs> kids. Like, these were like fucking like thirteen year olds, fourteen year olds that are like got in line first, grabbed mm -hmm. playstations. Then they went to the end of the line, going, "Hey, I'll sell you sell you my ticket for like you know fifty dollars more or hundred dollars more." And they, <laughs> they got it. And then they're gonna wow. get up there and be like, well, how do, "Why do you have this ticket? Where'd you get this from?" <laughs> oh my god, that is damn cool. yeah. Wow. So, that's the game, man. That's the game. So well, nice. it was. It was well, nice. yeah, they, he was, you know, the, the, the uh, my my sister in law was very happy that we got it. She very appreciative. That we waited on that long, that was like Tanya's first time ever, like fucking waiting on for a console or any type of thing for, like a gaming system. I'm like, well, here you go. This is this is just the fun of it <laughs> right here. Yeah. And it's like you know, I would I have, I, I, I would even waited on that line if I didn't have that ticket. If I didn't have that ticket, I would just fucking said fuck this mm -hmm. and walk away. Mm -hmm. But. So basically, the ticket was just guaranteeing you the system, but you still had yeah. to wait online and go through the process. Yeah. So that still took time. You had to wait a long time for that. Yeah. yeah so so yeah. they did it right. So like, what happened was there was a line forming. As the line grew bigger, the the, the like ten minutes, like it was four o'clock that they were ready to release them, and then like four o'clock, uh, like four ten, the guy came out and started handing tickets, so he can, so people who you know didn't get a ticket can just go about their business and you know. Do what they need to do for the rest of the day instead of staying on a fucking yeah. long line, you know, hoping Still hoping to get something. Fuck off! Yeah, yeah. getting one. Yeah. So I mean, fifty whatever, how many systems allocated they had, you know, like couldn't have been that much. Yeah, it, 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 it was a lot. It was a lot too. It was it was about fifteen per each system. So let's say it was yeah. it was about fifteen PlayStation's fifteen. It was a good 30, 35 of us on line. So. Know, but it, it was just it was just it was the whole line was getting bogged down because like i guess when they were doing the pre-orders through their systems the system would crash they would have to reboot and log on because i guess all the all the game stops were doing the same thing so yep across so, the nation across the nation yeah on one little server with mm -hmm. a hamster and a, and a celery stick 
Yeah. I know so, you you game too, Dom. Or is that like a system you've picked up for yourself, or at least a PS5 or one of those on your? No, radar? I I I haven't. The, the Xbox X is definitely on my radar. You know, um, I'm not inter- just interested in open like you know zippering a, a, a little zipper on a controller or anything like that. <laughs> Dude, <it's> like, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I, I live I live controller. I lived through Wii and Wii was fun and you know, Wii U was great and that's it. That's all I I need to, you know. I hope I I'm hoping that they make some leaps and bounds in VR. I heard I heard the systems are getting better, but you know, right now, uh, I'll just play around with my nephews because he's also getting like one of those uh, what's it called o- ocular ocular something like that. Oculus. Oculus. Yeah. Yeah. You better warn yeah, your nephew so. to lock his door in his room. His parents are gonna catch him with his pants down and that thing on his face. (laughs) He's twelve, bro. Another year from now, that's all he's gonna do. (laughs) Not everybody thinks like you, Dave. (laughs) It's the truth, motherfuckers. You did it too. Shut the fuck up. Why are you in the bathroom so long? Get out of the fucking bathroom for that long. Why are you in the bathroom? (laughs) <laughs> yeah so he's he's gonna have a good christmas so he's getting some good stuff nice. so, yeah man but yeah it, 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 it's it's definitely definitely xbox i'm an xbox guy um i was xbox. a playstation but i i turned over to xbox as uh call of duty got it uh more popular and and mm-hmm. i started playing call of duty on xbox and that's where i I basically yeah. go the 360 days. That's when I was like in the Xbox hardcore. Yeah. The, you know, all my boys playing Gears of War and shit, and Halo and, and uh, Halo. P- yeah, the PS3 was definitely like eh, but then PS4, I've just been stuck with that since the systems come out. I didn't even get the Xbox uh, Xbox One. And don't people just buy Xbox, just buy PlayStation to like play Spider Man, and that's it, right? No, Pretty much, one. not just one game, no. Oh. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 you're right, Brian, pretty much. But like the thing is, is that I, I was talking to somebody online, and I, I didn't even know this. Like, since I guess Microsoft is a computer-based uh, company, uh, you know, a lot of their games are also available for PC. So a lot of a lot of PC players can get Xbox games. So when you when you're looking at a PC player, which system they're they're gonna pick up is they usually pick up a Sony because they can't get some of those Sony games on PCs because it's a Sony, it's exclusive to Sony's, but like a lot of the PCers can get Xbox games because I guess Microsoft issues out their games on the PC platform. So yeah. they're also cross platform too. So yeah, yeah, that, that's, but it, it so wasn't can... that, it wasn't, the, it wasn't the case back, back, uh, you know, I, it is now, I, I heard like he's PlayStation now crossing over with Xbox in regards to some games like Call of Duty or uh, have they done that move yet or no? Mm, no, I, I was that. just talking, I was just talking like Microsoft properties and PC. Yeah, Microsoft, yes. Yeah, yeah, and PC. You're right. I was hearing rumors of some cross platform on the PS4 too, but I don't know if that's actually happening yeah. yet. Yeah. That'd be nice though. Like, you know, like break down those barriers, let everybody fucking play together. But then, yeah, you know, that's no one more system you that, have. Yeah, but then that's one less thing, I guess, that makes it exclusive, right? For, I guess. You know, well, whatever. I remember I remember playing games um, like Call of Duty, for example. Uh, I think it was called Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And that was for Xbox, was it? PlayStation came out. PlayStation, PlayStation. 3 or 4, 3 at the time. Well, whatever. There was a Call of Duty out that I was playing, and I played it on both systems. I had played it at my friend's house. The gameplay, it was sim, it was almost identical, but there were different things about it. It was different. Oh yeah, I was I was yeah, getting my kill streaks a lot faster. Um, and which, playing on which PlayStation, system? which system? I'm playing yes, on PlayStation, PlayStation, right? Yeah, they're playing on Xbox, and I don't know why. Yes. Yeah, because it's a it's a younger it's yeah. a younger it's a younger uh, it's a younger clientele. You, you're getting a lot of younger people who are playing in PlayStation, so you might get some. Easier players in PlayStation, where you can, 
you know, do a lot better. Than his <laughs> it, it's, it's Mom said you ain't food. shit, son. He said you ain't <laughs> no. shit, son. You just getting no, easy. It, it is. Yo, you gotta, <laughs> no, it's so you true. You gotta buy that new Call of Duty, bro. It, it's so <laughs> true, right. dude. Like I used to play Xbox, and I'll play. I'll be playing, and like you know, uh, you know, trying to fucking increase my kill streaks and stuff like that, and get some fucking you know nuke and shit like that back in the day. And it's like, and it was so much harder on Xbox. And then my my. My brother-in-law had a, a PlayStation Four, and he mm-hmm. and I'm like, I'm like, you know what, what? Like, you know, I would go over there and play with him, and he's like, I'm like, dude, you gotta get Call of Duty, you gotta get Call of Duty. So he bought Call of Duty, and I would go and play over there with him, and I would get nukes like all the fucking time. And I'm like, this, I'm like, this gotta be, you know, what? Are, I'm guessing like you got some, you know, easier gameplay, or, like easier, ch- you know, competitors <laughs> out there. Like, it's just so much easier to just go and play with little kids and just. Fucking you kill know, them and just you know what, Dom? Maybe, run, run maybe around it on had something to do with nice. more people were playing it on on Xbox than PlayStation at one point. I, I just think you got a you got a higher type, you know, more because you got to remember Xbox had Halo, so a lot of people who are who are into Halo went you know, went over to Call of Duty and 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 these are more older individuals and used to you know first person shooters and there's more they're more we're used to it more talent yeah. yeah there's more talent on Xbox than than PlayStation, I think, in my eyes. Yeah, but, yeah, but they dumb it down for PlayStation, the PlayStation users. Destiny, so, you know, come on. We, we put Those the slow motion button down there. That's right. <laughs> you got to dumb it down for you PlayStation people. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the D pencil, you know? <laughs> Yo, Dom, so Eric, Eric B in the chat says there was a glitch that eventually got fixed on PlayStation. So maybe, maybe we are speaking truth. You know, a little yeah, bit. I, I that, that there was it was maybe a little bit easier playing a certain games, and then they they caught on to it. You. Maybe who knows? Yeah. Well, I maybe. can remember playing like because I, I I play a lot of Destiny, and I can remember playing. So I bought that game four separate times. I bought it on Xbox 360, and then I bought it on PS3, and then Xbox One, and then the PS4. But like. I can remember going from Xbox 360 to to the PlayStation 3, and if I would play Crucible, like, dude, I would just mop people on the PlayStation because they suck. <laughs> they suck. They're so bad. Like, I, I would rule it. Like, I would have the top kills on our team on PlayStation. I yeah, wonder if yeah, this like, is a thing. Xbox, I want to look like, into this more, guys. This is a Xbox. It, it, it I'm has like, to be. I'm it on like the be. fucking bottom. You know, I'm in like the bottom five on Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> PlayStation. I'm running the fucking team. I wonder what it is. I, I really do. Same yeah. thing with me. Like with when I was playing Call of Duties, I would get nukes, and I'm like, you know, have thirty fucking five kills, and it's like. You know, two deaths, you know, and just everything would just be so much easier on PlayStation when I went over to my brother-in-law's house and played. So I, fe- you- I felt like a superstar, which which was great because, like, yeah, uh, my, brother, yeah. my brother-in-law my brother brother was watching really me and going, wow, this. man, you're fucking really good. And I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, like, I, I'm, I'm thinking that Xbox. It, does it have anything to do, you think, maybe with the – oh, you're even on Xbox with your brother-in-law? No, well, no. Well, like, I, when I played Xbox – With the other guys, like, Oh, all right. Yeah. Well, no, I would what I'm saying is maybe I, maybe I would have like a one one point oh. Sorry. Maybe the gameplay when you you know when you're actually physically touching the controller on PlayStation is faster than Xbox. I don't know. I'm just thinking of I, 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 why. What reason would it be that it's easier than? I'm you know leaning I mean? towards what JD is saying. Like people who play PlayStation are just so. Don't have the skills like people who pay Xbox. They're just not used to it. They're very slow. You know? Dual shot controller. They're weak, they're, they're, yeah, you got your shit on. They're, That's right. They're weekend players. You know, you got Xbox. It's like, you know, I'm glad I got they both. love the fucking game and they're playing, they're playing hot, hard and they fucking, they're, they're, they're fucking grown ups and you got kids. So and, you're saying if you play Xbox, you know, on you PlayStation, like this. that Hello. just. I play Xbox, yes, and if you yes, play PlayStation, you're like, Hi, chap. The best <laughs> 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 oh, Shut no, up. You're new. No, you're a new. You're a new. Come over here and hide with me so we can get a nuke. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
I, I'm, I'm leaning towards JD because I think it's just there's a better competitive play in Xbox Online. So you're, you're going to get more challenge. So if you want to play with the best, you play you buy an Xbox. You want to play with a bunch of retards, go buy a uh, PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> fucking knuckle draggers. But don't I'm they don't joking. they don't joking. they skill match you? They skill match you anyway, you know? Like so if you're a scrub, they're gonna match you with scrubs. If you're a higher level player, they put you with better players. Uh, it's the way it's supposed I, to work. They do that now. They they do that now, JD uh Jose. But like back in the day, no, that was like <laughs> No, no, <laughs> like, yeah, definitely not. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah, they, that was Yeah, Halo 2 that was, was fun the because game to really do that. Yeah. That's a, I want to keep talking about games. I say we can we ask Jose how his weekend was, and then we could just keep talking about yes. games. <laughs> so my weekend was good. How, my weekend was good. How was your weekend? It was good. It was good. It was good. I was just relaxing, chilling out. Yeah, playing video games because I bought like a bunch. Like I bought that Miles Morales. Um, but the uh, it's it's basically for, it's for the PS4, but I could download it for the PS5 and get the PS5 version when I actually get like that system. So I already beat it. I 100. You already it. beat it? Yeah, yeah. It's How good. How do you guys do this, man? How yep. do you do this? I don't have kids. Dude, 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 you're talking to a PlayStation. You're talking to a PlayStation kid. Slow it up. Slow it up. I'm tell only him, like tell him, tell him the buttons. Both of them with the game. <laughs> Tell it's them, uh tell, tell them the buttons on top. Tell them the buttons on top. You gotta use the buttons on top too, dude. <laughs> it's it's very, very good because they uh they refine the um basically the, the gameplay as far as like the fighting and, and all your abilities as Spider-Man. Um and they gave it like that nice little like twist of like Miles being like a rookie. You know? so that's kind of cool. And uh and they took away like all the kind of like that the bullshit stuff that slowed the first game down they kind of took that out so um but the game is not as long because it's like it's it's a full game but i want to say like it's not like the original where it's it's not as long basically the story mode but they can give you a ton of side shit to do um but once you're done like you're done you could you could 100 percent it and hopefully there'll be some dlc coming down the road Mm. but you you'll enjoy it man like but i like i said like you gotta beat the first Spider Man because this shit will spoil, you know, what happened in the first game. Yeah, I'm gonna I got in the second one I got as far as like he knows now who who um who the bad guy is. You okay. know what I mean? And that's you know, that's it. But I, it's kinda that's kind Dave, yeah, why don't you quit <laughs> Dave, why 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 don't you Dave, why don't you quit while you're ahead and go watch it on YouTube and stop playing that game? Go go put it back to GameStop and turn <laughs> no, it. I want to play the game, Dom. I don't sit and watch other people play video games for 15 hours like you do. I'm lazy. <laughs> you play the game for me. Play the you're game just, for you're me. Just looking for spoilers so you know what to do give when me, you're playing the game. Like that's what you're just doing. give me the cutscenes. <laughs> <laughs> they do that too. They look at it. It's like you're watching a movie. movie right? yeah, yeah. You're watching a movie. Uh, that shit. A three hour movie. <laughs> Like Antoine, he's getting in. He's getting in on this too. He's that PlayStation easy mode, you know. Uh, Eric B's uh, morale really short but really good. But yeah, that, it's just a shorter game than the original like game. So that's why I was pretty much able to blow through it. But it's good. It's really really good. I could just imagine. Um, I've seen some video of it, like in PS5, and uh, the ray tracing and all that stuff. How you see the reflections and everything looks fucking amazing. Mm. You know, pun intended. Didn't you say something to us that you wanted to talk about something about a GTA Online or something like that? Oh, they got a it, it's they got the big update today. If anybody's still playing that, because it's a seven year old game, but they're they still um, regularly give the people content for the online. If anybody's still like playing that online, so they've added. If you haven't played in a while, they've added so much stuff like businesses, and they gave. Uh, today was a new download for like a new heist so they gave you an expanded map for the first time it's pretty big and uh i was checking it out before we went live and um and like a hundred new over a hundred new songs new radio stations and stuff like that new weapons new vehicles you know so me and my uh cousin and my squad because some of them they still get down on that we're gonna we're gonna be getting busy on that what was the last one that came out what what uh 
five. It's G- it's GTA five. It's been this is the one that it's been out there for a while. Like they're working <laughs> on six. This is eventually gonna be they're gonna have a PS five version like of this game, and I think in a couple of years the next one is uh is due to come out. But the that, online uh aspect of GTA five is like super popular. That, it's been going for years. That cyberpunk game looks like it's taken a lot from GTA. Am I wrong? It's, or... it's no, like I think people are getting it confused because, um, like there's supposed to be like an open world aspect to the cyberpunk game where it's like you know, it's you have that city which is available to you and you could kind of just go wherever you want and do the direction, um, the, the quest, the side missions, or the main quest missions, like in any order, like you want, you know, you make the decisions. So it's uh, to me, when I was looking at some video, I didn't want to watch too much though because it spoils like the game, but it looked to me like a, like a futuristic version of fallout look more like fallout to me mm. GTA game. yeah it has a uh an rpg element yeah exactly mm. yeah you know so that you're supposed to be able to customize like your character and, and um and make like basically almost like any kind of decision you know like you know take the character in any sort of like direction so um, mm. you know rob said like when he got it rob milton uh on he basically took vacation to play the game, <laughs> which I remember like calling out sick, you know, when a new game was mm-hmm. released so back mm-hmm. in the day when it was something you were really anticipating. Like he said, he took vacation uh, to play the game. And I think like he was like, I remember, I think during the show on Friday, they debuted uh, their new show. Um, he was like, man, I, th- I already sunk 30 hours like into it. So it's like, <laughs> wow, it's, it's, yeah. it's a good amount of time. It's, it's a good amount of game time for a game that came out on Tuesday. <laughs> I love about to do I'm about to call away from my family for a fucking few days. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I'm not here, man. Cook for yourself. Fucking mm. lift heavy things, heavy objects on your own. I'm not here. Okay. I haven't done that since um what games did I do that for? I did that for uh Knights of the Old Republic. Mm-hmm. And I did that Uh-oh. for uh, when Resident Evil 2 came out. Knights of the Old Republic is the original <laughs> Xbox, right? Yeah. 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 Wow. That's or was it was it X original Xbox or three sixty? I don't even remember. No, it's original Xbox. Yeah. 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 RPG, and that game, right? yeah, you that could game. not pull me away from that until I was no. done with it. I that still play it every now and again. Yeah, I yeah. Was, yeah, I was, yeah. I was playing that for uh, I don't know, maybe a month ago, two months ago I was playing it. Have they updated that? Like where you could play it on a more modern system or you it's not- Yeah, they it's up uh you can you can download it on Xbox. Oh, all right, sweet. Yeah, a lot of those old games. They have both of the Kotor games. The uh, the uh, Force Unleashed games. Those, those were, were good too. Those yeah. were easy though. Those were like I used to finish those in a day or whatever, a few yeah. hours. Yeah. The Force Unleashed. Those were fun. They. Um, I actually, when I was scrolling through the library, I fucked up over um, Thanksgiving weekend. You know, they give you the Black Friday deals and stuff. So um, I had to renew my PlayStation Plus, you know, for the next year because it was going to expire. And uh, they had the deal forty five dollars for the year instead of sixty. And um, I clicked on the thing. I bought it. And then I remember, like, like I got on to play, and it was like, you got to buy PlayStation Plus, <laughs> you know? And I was like, what the hell? I bought this thing already. And when I looked at the receipt, it was uh, I bought the PS Now, which is like, I don't know if anybody knows, but they have a service where you could just stream games, like old games, PS2, you know, PS3, PS4. And uh, it's usually like ten bucks a month. It was also forty five dollars a month. The the graphics for the sale was the same as the PS Plus, so I, I clicked on the wrong thing. But they have a lot of those old Star Wars games on them from like those old systems, the PS Two and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I saw they had the Force Unleash, uh, the first one and the second one. So I was like, oh, it's it's been a minute since I played those. Like I, I'd like to get down on those again you know those were fun because those uh kind of giving you that expanded story you know dark darth vader's secret apprentice and you got access to all these powers Mm -hmm. and you know Mm -hmm. made you feel like a like a real badass like using like the the force powers Mm -hmm. like in that way that you never really seen before in Mm -hmm. uh like in media you know so it was nice you know that was pretty nice i want a gaming great black series sam whitmer what I oh yeah, yep, yep, yep. He was, uh, he was, was he in the first or the second one? He was in both of them. He was in both. Yeah. Yep. 
I, when I remember seeing that, I was like, oh, this is the guy. Because I remember Star him killer. back in the day from uh, Smallville. Like, he played Doomsday, like, in, like, Smallville Season 8 or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, the human version of Doomsday would turn into him. Like, Are you talking about the main, the main character? Yeah. 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 They use, like, a real actor and stuff, which they did the same thing uh, for this Jedi Fallen Order game. It's the dude yep. that played uh, plays the Joker and the, the DC Joker and, and, and Shameless and all that shit. Yep. Yeah, so have you played that, Dave? Have you tried that game out? Which one? Fall in Order, Jedi Fall. No, Order. I'm gonna buy it though. Oh, it's cheap. It was you cheap. Need, you like, need to yeah. play it. Yeah. Recently. So that now would definitely be the time to get it. Like sometimes I'm like, damn, I wish I I could have waited. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Before buying this like a full price and stuff. <clears throat> mm-hmm. It's it's definitely dope though. Like I had a had a good time with it, but I beat it. I basically hundred percent of it, and then I never. Yeah, same here. Back, you know, so it I'll took a it. while though. It, I, know, I mean, a while I, to get that hundred percent. Yeah, because you can't go back to some of those worlds, and so you get some yep. of your abilities, and you know. I I, I kind of want to get the game more so because I think it might come into play with the Mandalorian. It could because they're trying to right now, like Grogu. Right, he's look. He look somebody's looking for him. We think aside from Mando, right? Mm-hmm. And there's only certain Jedi that are still alive, and um. The main character in that one was uh oh fuck castus what's his name something yep. yeah Cal- 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 is is alive right and he's him and another jedi in that in that series a woman are still alive so they could be the two that could come after him or you know because i mean the actor's still there he can play him yeah, yeah, that that would actually be pretty dope. Like, I never thought of them trying to tie uh, the video game character into like the live action in that way, and actually using the same actor like to do it. But that would be interesting, mm-hmm. you know. Like, so um, now that you bring that up, though, like you know, Disney, I think on this past Friday, so just a couple of days ago, um, announced just made a big announcement with like a whole slate of uh, I think a couple of new movies and a whole bunch of new shows. That are gonna be coming out to Disney Plus in the near future, you know what I'm saying? So they definitely, you know, confirmed the Mandalorian season three, which that show is wrapping up, I think, in the next week or so, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the season premieres this week, I believe. Season finale. Or the finale, I mean, yeah. So that's this week. So you know, you know, we're gonna get a season three out of that. Um, a couple episodes ago, you know, we did bring up uh you know ahsoka making an appearance in live action you know played by rosario dawson so she was one of the major announcements coming out of friday where she's gonna get her own spinoff show oh um, wow they confirmed that yeah yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. oh shit. Dis- disney plus supposedly probably coming out i think winter 2021 so around this time next year mm-hmm. um you know so and i think like uh, the show is going to be based off the events coming out of uh, her appearance here, like in The Mandalorian, taking yeah. place around the same timeline, right? So, what do you guys think? Is that like, uh, is that one of the ones that gets you more excited from all those, uh, from the announcements? Yeah, yeah because she, she's, yeah, because she's searching for Thrawn, and it, you know, it's going to open that whole, that whole, you know, that whole fight, and possibly Ezra is going to show up, you know, and. You know, all those characters uh, from Rebels it might come back in that show, you know. Um, I, was you know a action, so I, yeah. <laughs> I was having a conversation with my cousin Frankie, and he had mentioned a, a theory or, you know, whatever. He, he said they can bring back Rebels, and it could be live action. Like, we don't oh, need to. Yeah, I mean, they could just start off where they left off if they wanted do it live, to. Do it live. And do it live. That'd be crazy. Like, you, you know, know what I'm saying? For like a show to start oh. animated, continue live. Yeah. Like, all right, you guys want to place bets? <laughs> Next Haslab is three and three quarter uh, ghost. If they bring mm-hmm. back, the rest, that would be nice. Right? <laughs> yeah. Wait, did, or did they already make one of those? No, 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 no. Nope. All right, I don't and think then they, they're they gonna never blow it up. No, they never did. <laughs> um. Yeah, I, mean, I like. You, I, I you, you definitely. Get... I'm definitely. Definitely enjoy it. You know, I'm. I'm wondering where that. You know, whether it's going to be that. You know, it's got to be a continuation, like you said, Jose, oh. from from the the current line. So, 
Myers is Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Just yeah. like him, you guys just throw that big paint on his face. I would look him cool, if yeah. we dig that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good. So nice. I mean, I know that would be like great for um, you know, the fan, the Clone Wars and Rebels, you know, just to kind of get a some sort of continuation of that storyline. You know, did uh that I guess they've left things unresolved, like from the animated series, things that they could kind of pick up. Yeah. Oh yeah. I gotta I gotta watch those though that last season again because like I, I, I after a while I just was going through the motions because it was getting way too way too out there for me like spiritual spiritual <laughs> and the the time travel temple thing that they found yeah. i was like uh, i was like awesome. i was like when i saw that i was like all right how many more episodes do i have to sit through till i'm just done and as a result i can't remember how it ends there was something with whales right or something <laughs> like that mm-hmm. so yeah. i i gotta watch those last few episodes again to see if i'm interested in whether or not we find Ezra. I want to find Thrawn. That's cool. <laughs> uh, uh, Ahsoka, you know, she, cool. I'd love to see that ghost in live action. That yeah, ship. I'd love to see where Hera and Sabine, where they're all at. Oh. Sabine, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, live yeah. action Zeb. I'll even take a live action uh, Scrapper. I mean, so... I mean, Ooh, chopper, cool. chopper, 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 scrapper. What the hell yeah, am I chopper. thinking? Of? <laughs> um, so, um, and so what they say is they're saying that, uh, and there's a third one too. The the air commanders of space was it the the, the space the, rangers? The, space rangers. That's right, air commanders. <laughs> um, and they say that uh, those episodes will basically intertwine, so they'll have their crossover events, which is kind of cool. So, like, I dig that. Yeah. Um, there was mention in the chat here of the uh, the Obi Wan series. And oh, dude, uh, if the, if what I'm hearing from the Obi Wan series that f- if they're bringing back Darth Vader, and they're bringing back you know Hayden Christensen <clears throat> playing Darth Vader, and it's it's not all. You know, you know Obi Wan and his ventures, and it is you know showing a little bit of Vader and him seeking out some some you know his inquisitors running around and him going to places and kicking ass. Oh, dude! Yeah, so that Obi Wan series is gonna be fucking great. It that is confirmed. Like you were just mentioning it, Brian. Like the Rangers of the New Republic, which I guess you know that's gonna be a series coming in late 2021. So also I think in the same timeline of the Mandalorian, like uh like Ahsoka is gonna be. Uh, the Obi Wan show, I think, is supposed to take place uh, ten years ten after. Ten years, yeah, ten probably. years after, yeah. And um, so it's Christ gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna so be five Christ years. Is, is it with that timeline? Ten years. It's gonna be five years after Mandalorian, right? It's gonna be no, no further Mandalorian. No, no, no. Mandalorian. It's after, ten, uh, ten years after Revenge of the Sith. So Luke is ten, basically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or nine, or something like that. So when is man? When when is Mandalorian mm-hmm. happen? I heard Man Mandalorian five, five years, years after. Five, five years yeah, after Return of the years, Jedi. After Return of the Jedi. Okay, so so it's five years after Return of the Jedi, and oh oh, you're okay okay. I it does get confusing because so you feel ten, like we're in the same world, yes. doesn't it? Yeah, we're like yes. Okay. Sometimes I'm watching Mando. I'm like, wait a minute, who's still alive in this world? <laughs> okay, so it, so is Vader the, dead? Obi yeah, Wan is, is basically <laughs> Obi 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 Wan's series is basically ten years after Revenge of the Sith, where he uh, Anakin <laughs> Anakin uh, is basically uh, you know I mean Luke is ten years old and he's he's in he's at Tatooine basically watching him. Okay, right. sorry, mm-hmm. I'm just yeah, it's just so hard to. You're right, Brian. So, <laughs> like so I'm, trying, first, I'm trying to. Yeah. <laughs> it can't. So it can't get confusing. It can because they're jumping all over the place yeah, with these and stories. It, you know? and, and at first, I'm like, I don't, I don't want to see Obi Wan and Vader fight. Like I've been there and done that. But it's like, I don't know, because they're saying, you know, basically, you can molest the the uh, the screenplay from Episode <laughs> Four, right? You can you can molest the lines that they say to each other. You know, mm-hmm. last we met, yeah. I was the master. Or you, I was the last learner, was the, and all the, that other the, shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's like, master, yeah. and then in in Empire, with no, no, in Return of the Jedi, he goes. Remember when Luke tries to turn him when they're on Endor, and uh, he goes, "Obi Wan once thought as you do," type of thing, you know. And so maybe they do meet, and and Obi Wan tries to 
So like, dude, come back to the good side now or something. I don't know. Who the hell knows? But at first yeah. I was against it, but now I don't know. I think I kind of want to see it. But you see it. I, and the thing is, like, I want some sick, heinous, fucking vindictive Vader action. Like, he's one of the 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 the, the biggest characters in this story. And if you think about it, we don't get on much. We don't get very much of them. Like, you got to read the comics, Brian. That's where it's at. I, bro. I know, but mm-hmm. I want to see it on screen. Let's I want to hear the breathing. I want to hear yeah, the voice. I it on TV, I, yeah. And I want to see him cutting down motherfuckers like yeah. Ben Affleck as Batman. You know, mm-hmm. I want to see him, <laughs> dude. I want a rated R Vader series. Like, so, that's what I want. So, so, Brian, maybe you could look it up. I, I forget which one it is, but I, I think it's the first one. It's Vader number one, and he's like. He's searching for the remaining Jedi after Order 66. It takes place right after that. And he finds, like, I I could be wrong. I read this 10 years ago, guys. But he finds, like, let's say eight Jedi hiding in a cave. And they're like, no, he's coming. And they're, like, waiting to come, you know, that he's coming. And he still wipes them the fuck out. (laughs) <laughs> and it's like wow it's yeah, like, you're like oh my god yeah see so but i know what brian's saying though like about seeing yeah there you go vader I, down number one the night of rent yeah, All right. yeah. but 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 i don't want i don't want it to overshadow obi-wan because i want to see i want to see what he's up to i want to see what he's dealing with i want to see him struggle commune here. with qui-gon you know i want you know all that shit so you know and 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 that's a sure limited series. That. like sure. like it's like three episodes or something they're like saying like i don't know it, it was what a, the ob series only three yeah. episodes there's there's been rumors it's like a mini series like that's oh, it it's not an all mini series usually is six to eight yeah, episodes so, so hopefully we'll i mean they're reshooting it again so we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens well, well it's it's in development um hayden christensen's definitely coming back 10 years mm-hmm. after revenge of the sith so it's gonna happen we're gonna get like a an unseen there's chapter like, of that story you know between what, what else are they and doing okay. what else are they yeah but uh you know the funny thing about him coming back it's like you know, i'm like big fucking deal he's just the next david prowse right he's got a helmet on and it's not even his voice you know? <laughs> <laughs> i know right i know but i'm sure you're gonna probably get flashbacks or something like i could flashbacks you're gonna get flashbacks might see scenes yeah let's them flash how you old know. is that movie now? Yeah, let's flash. What are they gonna do? I guess they'll de-age him. You know. See, <laughs> see so I, I was gonna say it though. Like, uh, yeah, well, you could do that. You could definitely do that nowadays. Yeah. You see Marvel doing it. Um, but so, so, like, the fact that like, people are excited about like him coming back, or even just getting like a like a series like Ahsoka, you know, or or uh, Obi Wan, you know, like that's kind of validates the old movies right because i remember back in the day like these movies used to be shitted on those prequels you know and now they're sort of like a very loved and accepted part of the mm-hmm. Star Wars lore, you know so see so you know so many years later it's like you know you sometimes you just can't see what you have you know when it's right in front of you <laughs> need some time let the shit marinate you know so um we're so supposed to be getting a lando series so but there's not too much information about that i don't think that's so. great I, I what they haven't told you like what time period lando though not yet and I there's no like- star that's attached so we don't know if it's going to be a uh, What's this dude from Solo? I, like, I don't know if he's going to be coming Yeah, I, I hope it's the dude from Solo. Um, Danny I hope it's... I hope it's... I hope it, yeah, I, I hope it... I hope it's in that, that time frame. It's in, in that Solo time frame. Like, you know, mm-hmm. it would be nice. I, yeah, I, I just love Solo. I, I, I enjoy the movie so much. And, you know, I wish, you know, those characters did a great, great job. And there's so much stories to tell there. And... It, it it also intertwines with a lot of a lot of the current stuff that's going on. So they can definitely talk, you know, get down and dirty in the in the smugglers and in their lives and bring it back to fucking um, Tatooine with uh, Jabba and all that shit. And, you know, mm-hmm. get a younger Bubba, you know, Bubba Fett going. You know, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So you'd be down to get like um like the the same Lando that played him in Solo and like in that same like time like in that same oh, yeah. time frame, yeah, yeah, and get all those actors to play a, a TV mm-hmm. show. You know, Nida Ren said that he much. thinks the Lando show's animated. Which the I see. I thought I heard that they 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 have Billy Williams 
they said it's possible like they that he could like wind up being attached they don't know like again like no lead has been attached to the show yet so don't know if you're going to see a old lando would, young lando <laughs> like you know i would it imagine would great, it would be great lando. if you get like like it would be great if you have like a, the series start out with like it's the older lando but he's like telling stories of like the old, you know himself as younger no, that's a good idea the flashbacks bro. Mm-hmm. You know, there you go. that's you not know, a bad like, idea. Bring it, bring it like where, where, <clears throat> where he's doing a little bit of what he's doing after episode six, and then maybe uh, tell stories to whoever he's with as an older individual. Flashbacks as he's like, playing you know, cards, bro. As he's playing fucking uh, yeah. exactly. Baraka, 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 what's that yeah. called? Sabak. 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 Um. Yeah. That'd be good. So we'll see. That's a good idea. I like that, Dom. You better call one of these Star Wars producers and be like, <laughs> "That's a- every episode he starts telling a new story and it fucking goes from yeah. there." Yeah. That's, that's fucking dope. Every that's- there's different aliens on the table every fucking episode. You know, <laughs> that would be starts a good way to start the story. Billy, yeah. Williams, you know? Billy D. Williams, and yeah, then get just gets him involved. Have the younger Lando, you know, so that's a, definitely an idea there that they could do. So we'll see. I'm sure they'll release more details as as time goes on. Um, they had something called the Acolyte, which I'm not too familiar with. Uh, it's supposed to take place in the High Republic era. So which era is that, JD? Is that like way before like the this current like Skywalker so, era? That we're uh, I'm not exactly sure like what the era is, but from what I understand, the the High Republic stuff are books. Mm-hmm. That I understood that they were, it was a series of books. The High Republic know. era, yeah. yeah. So I'm I'm assuming like it takes place before, you know, all the stuff that we've gotten, like with Vader and the Solo and you know the Skywalker saga. You know, I think it's a older era. There's supposed to be like a female protagonist supposedly on that show. It's another series on Disney Plus. So, uh, let's or I see. thought it was I thought it was stuff bridging. Um, uh, what do you call it? The in between. It was before the sequels, I thought. So, the, uh, what seven, eight, nine? I thought that was all stuff oh, there. It's high to republic take place in between. Like that's that's what that high republic era is supposed to be in between. Oh, I... Return of the Jedi and the Force Awakens. Uh, not a red. Okay. But, yeah. <laughs> When it arrives, Republic, in. aka Old Republic, kind of a canonized version of Old Republic. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. I thought it was an older era. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's what I was figuring. Two hundred. Okay. Two hundred years before Episode One. There we go. There. There's our answers. I was wrong. Wow. Oh. Yoda's around, right? <laughs> what do you think an era like that is like? If it's going to be anything like yeah, the books, he, he I think be. I have heard there were books like you know telling of that era he'd be like 200 yeah. years old yeah young young yoda <laughs> yoda nah he'd be if it's only 200 years yeah. before and he's like 700 something 500, and one 500. he was like 500 something years old yeah, yeah. No, when did he die when he was 900 right 800 no 800 maybe you're right maybe you're right i don't know i can't i can't remember the line where's fucking night around you just need to night around get on the show bro <laughs> this is your time. This is your moment. <laughs> He's just feeding us, feeding us the info in the chat. There He's was like, enough. Is he he I thought he was five hundred years old. He's nine hundred years old. Shit. When nine hundred years old, old, you reach look as good. You will not. Is that it, or is it eight hundred? Yes. Maybe, maybe you're right. No, maybe you're right. Nine. You're nine hundred. Nine. It's 900. It was nine hundred. Nine hundred. I want that. Yeah. Eight hundred. It's eight hundred. So he'll be 800, 800, 800, 800. <laughs> Night of Ren said eight. We got to go eight. with Night of Ren. 800. <laughs> yeah. so, when he, so that means he'll be 600 years old. So, like, he'll still be, he'll still be, like, playing, he'll be still, he'll still be in Pampers by that time, the way these people age or some shit, what right? You, no. Who, Yoda? Yoda's a grown-ass yeah. man at 600 years old. All right, well, the, the fucking Grogu's 50, and he's like, Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. Another hundred years, he's gonna be, you know, he's gonna be like a young man, yeah. <laughs> right? Kicking ass, taking names, and all. Oh, that. Ren says he doesn't yeah, know. Two hundred like, oh, years, yeah, two hundred years, two hundred years for Yoda is like you're in the teenager <laughs> with nine hundred. <laughs> I think it's nine hundred. I think yeah. you're right. Whatever, bro. man. Look the shit up. 
Alright, so there's but, another series uh, called Andor that's coming out, which is uh, supposed to be like what's the that? one prequel, I heard. You know, yeah, so, so oh, really? So yeah. It's, yeah, it's about Cassian, Cassian and uh, the the Resistance, or or uh, not the Resistance. We're gonna see all the evil shit he did. The uh, the Rebel, the rebellion, all the stuff yeah. that he did for the for the Republic. For the for yeah, the dude. Rebellion. So that could, that has a chance to be gritty and pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's uh, gonna be interesting. I, I'll definitely be interested in checking that out. I love the Rogue One movie. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So. That's gonna be dope. Think I think that's supposed to be coming out twenty twenty two though. So there's you know a little little wait for that one. What happened, Dom? I'm sorry. No, who's that character? I forgot. I, I, his name is on the tip of my tongue. But the character in Rogue One that he uh, that they're going to uh, that Jen Erso he she he he brought up Jen Erso as a baby when when the father and mother oh, band, like, Saul you know, Guerrero got taken away. Saul Guerrero. Saul Guerrero. Yeah. So maybe maybe Saul Guerrero in that episode. Maybe in that series. He'll, he'll uh, come back. He was, he was in PH. Rebels a lot. Yeah, he was in yeah. Rebels. Whitaker. Well, he, it depends he came on out when it takes place. Yeah. Clone Wars too. He came yep. out in. He was yep. young. He was young in in Clone Wars. Yeah. Yeah. With his sister. With his sister, right? With his, his sister. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah. Was it his sister? sister. Yeah. Yeah. His sister. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's just this is interesting. We could we could get Vader. We could get Obi Wan. Yeah, in that yep. series. Lots of alive. lots of crossovers. Yeah. Lots of crossover potential yeah. with the other mm-hmm. series that they're doing based like off the time that they're doing them. <laughs> Vader, Obi Wan. What, what, so what's the squadron? What's the squadron uh, uh, show? About? Oh that's yeah, so like that's a movie. That, that's yeah. that's a movie. So that's supposed to be like a um, not a whole bunch of details either. But I think it's supposed to be centered around like X wing like pilots. Yeah. Rogue Squadron oh, wow. is uh, the squadron that Luke. Skywalker starts. That's right. his squad. Okay. In that, in that the squadron he started, Patty Jenkins, or became right. part of. I think so. Yeah, that was. I just remember it's like like the video game from back in the day. Like, but if that's Luke's squad, that's cool. Any chance of seeing like a young Luke Skywalker in that movie? Yeah, possibly. That'd be cool. Possibly. They keep talking about the dude that played um uh, a soldier. Yeah. Sebastian Stan. Yeah, Sebastian Stan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've yeah. seen the mock ups, man, like that they've done like, making them look like a <laughs> looks just like a you know, like a mark a young Mark Hamill almost, you know. Mm-hmm. You could definitely pull it off. And it's funny with the Cumberbatch for and then, Thrawn, and- the the fans voted him in, like Maya had said before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That she wanted him for that. Um that's Wait, how they got Ahsoka. You guys it? told me that. I didn't even know that. Uh, basically, Ahsoka was fan voted into the show, right? Yeah, she's getting. They announced it. She's getting. The, like she was fan voted it, and then she fucking said, "I would do it." And then they said, "All right, it's yours. Let's oh, see if bro, you want to do it." Awesome. And that's how she got the job. Nice. So if they're gonna start depending on us to pick our actors for our our <laughs> Star Wars stuff, I, I think it's, this world can't get any better right now, right? You know, like, like really, what, what happened with the Sonic movie, dude? They fucking gave me that first trailer. He looked like shit. Yep. It was a fucking huge backlash online, and motherfuckers. They redesigned them, and apparently mm-hmm. they made money. So I guess they did. They did the right thing. Like I mm-hmm. guess. You know? Oh, we're getting some uh, some news here. So Jita yeah. says, "Rogue Squadron after nine. Same mm-hmm. thing from. from oh wow. Friend. Okay. So it's really not worth watching, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but how is it after nine? It- uh, okay, so I guess the Rogue Squadron takes their own thing. They keep going after Luke started them because Luke's dead. I mean, I mean, Luke would have started them thirty years before that. Right, so they're so. doing their own thing, right? So he's a right. new character. All right. So, right. oh, in the sequel trilogy, you're talking about, yeah, damn. So yeah, if it was Luke's squad, they'd be fucking. Old. So it's gonna be Poe po Dandrin and and God knows who else, right? With, right. Uh, yeah. with Poe Dandrin. <laughs> I I don't don't know. Know. That's maybe maybe we'll get Zori the, Bliss the with the helmet off. This, so, yeah, yeah. The search for head and shoulders, more head and shoulders. <laughs> oh. Oh, I like shit. it. I like it. When That's the fuck what? is Spaceballs two coming out? Make that happen. <laughs> he finally book. came out. He finally came out, and then he gets robbed in fucking New York, right? Oh, that was that was somebody. Was that him? 
as yeah. Moran. It's, yeah. it's supposed to What's it be another. There's another Star Wars movie, like supposedly, but not coming out till like supposedly 2025, uh, by the director of the the guy that directed the I think the third Thor movie, right? Taika Waititi. Taika Waititi. So, don't know what that's gonna be about as of yet. Uh, what's the Bad Batch? Is that like some characters from the Clone Wars? Clone or Wars, yeah. yeah the last from, the, from that last from se- the, that season, season seven. Yeah, mm-hmm. and from yeah, the last show. Yeah, and I've heard different things about that. Like, is so are they chipped or are they not chipped? You know what I mean. I I thought that they were they were not chipped, okay. but that they were not they they were not chipped. And I thought, um, I mean, are they going to be hunting who's, Jedi who's the or are that, they going to be helping the Jedi? You know, I think That's they're going to be doing their own thing. Like, I, I think, yeah, it's a good question because it's going to be because they're they doing their own missions. Some screenshot. They showed a trailer. Yeah, they showed a lot of trailers. They showed that they're back on Camino. They show like uh, there's a lot of trailer footage that 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 episode go. You know that that show. In that, showing. so in you, that get, you teaser, get a little look on what they're going. In that teaser, that teaser pretty much starts out with the Emperor saying, yep. you know, his his Most spiel yeah. at the end of uh, Revenge of the Sith. You know, his little we're starting the new. Yeah. Galactic, Galactic Empire, you know what I mean. So a safe and secure society. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm I'm kind of curious as to thunderous applause. I'm I'm kind of curious as to like, are they gonna are they gonna start it before that happens and it'll end? You know, I don't know. What, we're what just kind of this happening. happening. But who yeah. are the bad match? Are they like a uh, like a squad the, trooper? Yeah, they're like a so squad they're gen- of clone genetically troopers. genetically enhanced clone troopers. So there's they all have a different attribute. One is a lot stronger than the rest of them, but he looks different too because he's bigger. You understand? Mm-hmm. So you got one who's like a sniper who has like perfect fucking aim, but he looks different than they don't all look alike like how the rest of the clone troopers do. Mm-hmm. These all resemble them a little bit, but they all. Mm-hmm. Look yeah, different when they'll be real different. skinny or, you know, yeah. bulky, short, whatever the case may be. Yeah. They're like I just, they're like, I just the, left, they're test- like the leftovers. Right. They're like test- the breaking the mold of fucking. Right. You know, they're they're <laughs> test tube rejects. Is what they are. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. They're, they're, You're supposed they're, they're to throw the Van, those Danny out. Yeah. They're, they're the. They're the Danny Devitos in the twins. Yeah. All right. Those go in the trash, not those. But, but but what what happens, Jose, as a team, all their attributes combined together make them the perfect team, as opposed oh, awesome. to individually yeah. they have all stuff that they're lacking. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. all right. They, they showed good. these. This was this was this was a uh, release or sh- was shown to us in this last season of Clone Wars. They showed yeah. that they appeared in this in an episode that was pretty fucking cool. So there there, the, one, this is basically. Like it was like one. I think one of them. One of, one of, no, no, no they were they were they, they were there to help 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 progress the story. They, it, okay. they were hired to come in and help, and they did the, their job. And they go away. And I think uh, was it fives or fours went with them. I can't remember who went with them. Who was the one that five. they were looking for? For five. the uh, yeah, Rex fives, right? Five, yeah. So. Rex was it was looking. either fives or Echo. I mean, Echo, I Echo is yeah, yeah, an Echo, Echo that uh, went with them. No, no, they found it. I think Echo, Echo is it was, not it was, they were it was finding Rex. See, there you go, Echo. It was Echo. They were looking for Echo, but yeah. Rex was the one that went with them. Yeah. Did Rex go with them? Yes. <laughs> I thought I, I thought it was Echo that went with them. I'd have ran. Did Rex? No, they were Rex looking for them, Echo. Right? They were looking for Echo. Echo. They Echo. found him, though, didn't they? They found Echo. Oh, yeah, he was didn't all they find Echo? Up. Yeah. He was, he was all messed up. Yeah. So what they, happens after, is after Echo, they had taken after, after a clone, Echo. which was Echo, Sorry. and they kind of plugged him into the system, a computer system, where all the um, strategies that he had learned of being a clone, they were extracting from him for years. So they were winning battles against the clone troopers. The clone army. The clone, tro- clone army. And the clone army's like, why are we fucking losing? At the same time, they're looking for Echo, right? Mm-hmm. So, in order, 
in order to fucking win, they got to do something a little different. And the Bad Batch was perfect for that because they always did something different. You know. All right, I mean? look, Niner Ren. You're unpredictable. We're buddies and everything, but Rex went with them to find Echo. That's what I was saying. <laughs> okay. Yes, he did. But they found Echo, oh. and at the end, when uh, they finished their mission, who knows? Who cares about Echo the end? Basically, the end was a soak yeah, well, of fucking names. Nobody's taking names. <laughs> that's what the end was. <laughs> no, but we, we, the question is, like, he went with them, meaning at the end, he became part of the Bad Echo Batch. went, yeah. yeah. He became he part do, of the Bad man? Batch. Sixty-six. Yeah. Fuck them all. They're all dead. <laughs> but that, I, what, but what? Uh, I, my question is, is, is Echo's? Uh, uh, Disc like gone, like I think it's out, right? He he. When they execute Order sixty six, I don't think Echo is going to be part of that, right? He like I, I thought the, his chip they was out. He was dead like, already, they, bro. He, Echo was already missing during that. He was already yeah. gone. Okay. Yeah. I need. Mm-hmm. I like to see where that goes because see what you. It's interesting if they're chipped, right? And like somehow they're, you know, mutated. You know, science experiment DNA or whatever, like somehow doesn't make the chip work. And what if they just become like, all right, well, what the hell do we do now? I don't know. Maybe they form like the A team. You know, if you have a problem and no one yeah. else can solve it, da, 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 you call the Bad Batch and they fucking come and help you out. <laughs> and there's like a Corvette and a band. It's nice, nice that the characters, like if these are new characters that they just debuted in this last season of Clone Wars, like it's nice, you know, to see them. Like I guess they were popular enough to spin them off into their own, you know. Shows. Well, what's funny? What's funny, Jose? Is somebody had finished, try to finish the Clone Wars when they had they hadn't done it when they didn't make this. This seven, somebody had tried to finish it and tell that a similar story to it. It's just the animation was a, you know, yeah. with somebody else. It was like I think, I think type stuff, but it was um it, the bad batch was in that as well, so it, came, uh, it derived from that too. So uh, it was very popular story, I, and I, the I animation I, wasn't all that. And I think the bad. I, I, I think my prediction is is I think the bad batch is the ones the, is the force that goes back to Camino and destroys Camino and stops the cloning of uh, troopers, and they basically that's why you get stormtroopers and there's no more clone troopers and oh, they, yeah, they, that's they, a good know. theory. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then after they mess up Camino, Vader goes after him and cuts them all exactly. Down. So we can get some Vader action in here. Get that final fate. Yep. Uh, Jesus is asking a question here. What is the Scar Squadron? What is that? Mm-hmm. I'm unfamiliar. The Scar Squadron. They're all Scar. I'm not too sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. You know, there's so much lore, you know, between the comics and everything else. You know, I don't, I'm not, not too sure. I've never heard of that. So. Um, they got a Droid Story uh, Disney Plus animated movie supposedly coming out. So who I mean, gives a shit about that? Droids, <laughs> you know. Droids, yeah. So what's that? That is, uh, I think it's like R two and C three PO, like taking on another little droid or something like that. <laughs> no. I was not too sure. Probably, you know, it was probably just a play on the old droids cartoon. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Something to focus on the BBA, robots. BBA Daniels, for the kids. Anthony Daniels, like I need work. <laughs> <laughs> Pay me, I need some of that Disney money. And then uh, they said uh, Star Wars Visions. Oh, that, that I am very, very, very excited for that. So What's it's that? uh it's gonna be a bunch of like animatrix style shorts. Mm-hmm. Nice. Directed by different uh, anime directors and animators. So, and, so, and it, what is like, it like anything what goes you, pretty like much. How Clone, was it like how Clone Wars started, like those little shorts that they used to do? Is that what Visions is going to be? Like little animated shorts that, that, that like how. No, this is like the Animatrix. That's that's dope. Like, like, like Love, Death, and Robots. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Well, like that. 
little short stories that are they going to be animated or live mix yeah, it'll be animated yeah animated, it's all animated yeah so that's that's yeah. a cool uh, an anthology like that's, um series yeah. giving short stories so that's that's awesome i like that format i think that really worked well um I'm, for the animatrix when that came out back in the yeah, day i loved it that's i'm awesome. really 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 excited about that because i mean it'll be whatever goes you know what i mean mm -hmm. and um i really dug that you know Death and Robots, Death, Love, Robots, whatever that was on Netflix, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was pretty so, dope. Anything like that, um, definitely all for it in the Star Wars universe. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's again, the lore is so diverse, they could basically go anywhere with the stories they want to tell with that, you know? So yep. that's pretty dope. I don't know, was there anything else? Like, uh, there was a lot that we went through, like, already. Uh, we touched on Mandalorian Season 3. I mean, I don't know. It's just a lot of content. What, like, uh, do you guys think like they should have announced all this stuff like right away like that, or should it, should they have spaced well, some of this out? You know? This wasn't for us. This was for uh, the investors. The investors People investing. Yep. Investors. Yeah. Oh, okay. So basically, just I'm letting them know what's on the slate. <laughs> <laughs> what, whether I want to put money, money in after that. You know? <laughs> Dude, when that they, when that like, bitch took the stage, I would I would I would have just took all my money out of the stock. <laughs> I mean, like I get it. nope nope nope, bring it back, bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't all they right. talking so about a, a Maul spinoff too, or no? A what? Darth Maul spinoff? Mm. I don't know I if that was announced that too. Yeah. Or is that just gonna be a flick? You know what I mean? I mean, I don't know. They teased him in Solo, and then we never heard anything about anything else about that. Well, I mean, there's plenty of opportunity. Uh, I mean, he could even come back in the Andor. Wait, mm -hmm. is that is that no? Because well, it depends on the timeline again. Well, because you guys are saying well, Rogue One prequel. Year. So yeah, so that that's possible. That's that's pre so, uh, so, pre episode. Solo, yeah, Solo came before Rogue One, right? Mm -hmm. so, right. Yeah. So. Dude, we could get fucking Vader Maul. Oh. <laughs> that would just be all the things. That would be uh that would be they, crazy. They'd just be fucking us up with that, man. That might be too much. Fucking just might blow up the timeline or something. Yeah, that's, I mean, <laughs> I we know. already know that Kenobi kills Maul, so Yeah, and 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 we we know that Luke was a, was even younger than ten years old. That's true. Right? Because he looks a lot smaller in the end scene, and in, in that when you see Obi watching him and he runs across, well, he's running, yeah. The he's running he across. looks like he's three. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So, mm. oh, okay. So, well, you, I would say he's well, probably. You guys are making me I think tonight, you, you, you. man. You fucking making me mm -hmm. think. <laughs> Shit. Well, there's a lot of possibilities, man. Yeah, they, like I mean, uh, basically, with everything that's announced, there's a lot of directions that they could go as far as the storytelling and uh, and a lot of uh, intermingling with the properties that they're going to be doing here. You know, so don't fuck it up. <laughs> it's a good time. It's a good time to be a fucking Star Wars fan, I guess. You know, like I does. Do you think like some of this takes a? Uh, I know some people had a bad taste in their mouth after the sequel trilogy. So do you think this is a? Uh, what? You know, what? Like, secret what? The sequel. The so, sequel. so all right. So, what? Gorg <laughs> said something in the chat. He said Luke's the same age as Ezra. How the fuck could that be? Mm. And they fucked it up in in Rebels when they killed. Yeah. Because that? Ezra's a teenager. When when fucking they have the episode when he kills Maul and he's watching over Luke. He's like a little kid running across the field. It's true. Right. Maybe, maybe he's younger. Yeah, I don't. I don't know about that. Do you think the Obi Wan show is gonna explain how, like, why Obi looks like such an old man? The original Star Wars film, like living on Tatooine, like ages you quicker. It's, gra it's it's gravity. It's gravity. Why? How, it's gravity. Why? How many gravity. stress, bro? You know. I mean, I mean, to be 19, fair, nineteen uh, year gap that fucking aged him thirty years instead, <laughs> or fifty fucking years. It looks like. And uh, but what's this dude's name? Uh, Princess Leia's dad, he looks exactly the same between <laughs> fucking episode three and uh, Rogue One. It's true. It's true. Right? Tantooine, man. That's a rough place. Stuff place to live on. <laughs> what happened to Boba Fett's face? Be on that planet? No, I'm just kidding. 
He got eaten by a sand vagina. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sand okay. Well, that makes that kind of makes sense. Luke and Ezra are born on the same day. What the fuck? Is Ezra? He always fuck. said about being born on Empire Day. <laughs> Just yeah, the but day that the Empire began. Yeah. All right, but does it mean the same year? Somebody fucked up. Oh wait, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, Luke was born the day that the Fart Empire things look was. small. All right, I get it. Andrew makes a. Get Dave. Yeah, and then Jesus says the two sons make you age fat, dude. That makes perfect yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. Answer. There's do you. Do I look any younger? <laughs> 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 yeah, you, do. you look like you're twenty. <clears throat> in that. Chat you look like you're twenty up. years old. Oh, now, now you're now you're thirty. You're thirty. Same day in the year, Chad Wigan, I'm saying so. All right. Well, and they say that, um, was it, is it Baby Yoda and Anakin are the same age or something like that? Born the same year, 51, something like that. Yeah. What the fuck, man? Who knows? Who cares? Let's just fucking watch all this shit and talk yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy. The way they break shit down, like, even, like, when we were talking about Yoda's age before, I've seen people trying to break down why he looks the way he does or how old he is when he dies, like, in our years, as opposed, you know? So they're like, oh, he's he's t- between 29 and 36 years old when he dies. Nah, he's an old-ass fucking man. His species probably ages something more like dogs do. You know, you ever thought about it like that? But it's not a dog. You're not multiplying by it's seven. Reverse, it's you're multi- reverse dog. Yeah. Right. Yeah, like, you know, well, he's no. 50 and he's a baby, right? But who right. should say they age like us? Like, right. in one year, he can go through three different cycles and become a fucking, uh, a fucking 50-year-old. Like a 50-year-old, you know, uh, an older man. Like, you know right. what I mean? I don't know. I just think people breaking things down too much to fucking driving people <laughs> crazy. Well, the the the, the well, it, you, it would imply you know, that if he's fifty years and he's still like a baby in a way, then that, that, that you would just think it was going to take longer for it to mature. So even right. hundred, it's he's still going to be like let's say a little kid, like a three year old or something like that. You know, mm-hmm. at five hundred, maybe he's ten. You know, he's like a ten year old. No, but it, it uh, should be quicker than that, like you said. Just, they, just get the book. Just give him a lightsaber. Yeah, that's right. it. That's and 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 uh, I mean, we saw in the Ahsoka episode, like she can actually talk to him. Like he, he just doesn't know how to communicate, verbalize. Verbal he thing, right. baby. He, we think he looks all cool. cute, and in his head, he's probably fucking like a genius. Like yeah, you know, like exactly. Like, you know, yep. like. He just looks like an innocent little baby the way he's being portrayed. I bet that's probably what Sorry. they're gonna do by the end of it. And with, like maybe he'll talk, <laughs> you know, and he'll be fucking like like an adult. Like, you know? Yo, I've been meaning to tell you, man. Though, <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah. So I don't know. Who knows? Who the fuck knows? But there's definitely you know with all this stuff that they announced, uh, great time to be a Star Wars fan. You know. Oh and, yeah. Uh, and we didn't even touch on all the Marvel stuff because there was a bunch of Marvel announcements too. So maybe next week we'll touch a little bit on that. Marvel, uh, what? Friend, might have everyone wants to know if Grogu's alive during the sequel trilogy. I mean, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say they chop that sucker up and they get the midichlorians out of his blood and that's how they make Snoke and the Emperor. No. I mean, I had the same conversation with somebody and they made, they made some sense to me. And they were like, who says he's important? Like, he might be important right now. But maybe he don't want to. He want. He doesn't want to follow the path of the Jedi anymore. You know, right. and he yeah, just wants dude, to. He's rock. becoming a Mandalorian. What are you talking about? He's gonna be a Mando. He's gonna be Yoda <laughs> Mando. <laughs> Strap a fucking jetpack to the motherfucker. Give him a fucking helmet, and he's gonna be with the ears sticking out. It's gonna be fucking sell, sell, sell. Fucking awesome. Just put it all over the fucking goddamn shelves. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mando <or> Yoda. <laughs> Yep. So, all right. Well, let's wrap this up. Good discussion. Well, right. it's, oh, yeah. it's the Marvel stuff yet. Yeah. No, well, no, 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 on a serious, <laughs> on a <laughs> serious <laughs> note, it, it 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 is. But on a serious note, that's his too. If he doesn't find a Jedi that he can give it to, he has to train him as a uh, as a Mando uh, Mandalorian. So, 
Wait, what? So that's I think <laughs> I think that's what <laughs> she that says. You know, the armor yeah. when they in episode one they said one. you need to find his kind. If you can't uh -huh. find his kind, you have to raise him as a Mandalorian. I'm watching that. Right Teach him now. our ways. I don't remember the oh the or. She says or... that. Watch that yeah. back, dude. They, she says it. Mm. Yeah, she says it. And I have to fact check that. Have In episode one. Right, JD? Am I am I am I losing something? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure you're one. right. I think I'm just like, oh, yeah, fuck Not in so many the, words. The but, second yeah, Just go right. to season season third episode. No, it's uh, the third. It's the was last the episode. So <laughs> dumb. Is that when she says the constructo bots on the fucking? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, fine, nah, fine. Nah, nah, she nah, melted nah, the armor nah, fine for him. Fine, oh, yeah, saw... Gort, yeah, yeah. Night of Rain. Which, ep which episode does the arm <laughs> armor <laughs> tell him this? Redemption. Boom. Last episode, the, when they find, like, she, when they walk and find oh, her and they like, go the back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. all right. <laughs> Jesus, I'm paying what attention. the fuck? You, wait, what are you guys watching? What are you fucking watching, dude? We're, we're go watch, go watch, like, yeah, watch like Yammer My Little Pony or something. Not, not making any yeah, sense. Listen, listen. It's not like you. It's not like you fucking. Listen, listen. You said words, Bubba you Fett earlier. Bitch. Okay, yeah, Bubba. <laughs> you can't say Bubba <laughs> Fett. All right. <laughs> Bubba. It's Bubba. 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 It's Bubba. It's not Bubba. You say Bulba, you say Bulba, I say Bubba. <laughs> Bubba you Somebody pull up that it. picture with, with him with the corn, please. Yes. There it is. <laughs> Gord just posted the quote. Gord just posted the quote. <laughs> Thank you, Gord. Motherfuckers, these fucking preschoolers. Go play. Go back to playing your fucking Playstations. There we go. <laughs> you must begin your quest was, for Poe yeah. Dandruff. <laughs> listen, 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 Santa okay. Claus. <laughs> a foundling is in your care by creed until it's of age or reunited with its own kind. You are its father. Okay, doesn't say you got to teach it to be a Mandalorian anyway. And then that. Oh, well, but you obviously you are its takes... father. Yeah, that's what that means. Okay. Well, I like that whole fatherly thing, no though. Sense. Yeah, no, yeah. Right. So, well, let's let's focus on this again, right? So, <laughs> let's focus so, on this. Again. I like that Brian doesn't want to give up yet. A foundling <laughs> is in your care, so by creed, until it is of age or united, you are its father. So, this thing's fifty years old. So, how old does it gotta be? Like, he's going to be dead by the time this thing's of age. Right? Yes? No? Mm, probably. Mm -hmm. We don't know. We don't. We age, you age slower when you're in space. <laughs> you age slower. Unless there's two he's gonna, sons. He's going to carbonize. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, you do, age, you do get more wrinkles under the sun. I will tell you that. <laughs> yeah. He could, he could yeah. carbonize, freeze himself. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, yeah, he could. We'll see it. We'll see it. We'll see it. They'll somebody explain. needs to fucking do that. They'll explain that you away. Know? I guarantee you. They'll Indeed, explain. that's a good way to hide some <laughs> Yeah. What to do? To what? Freeze them in carbonite. Freeze them in carbonite. Freeze who? Oh, the baby. Anybody, just anything. Like you know, like that's a good way to bring a character to like forty years later. Like you know. I, don't mm -hmm. know. I thought you were talking real life because. You've all seen Idiocracy, right? You don't want to be yeah. frozen and then left, or, and then you discover to wake up in a land of morons. Oh. PlayStation mean, people, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> no, Go wake up as kids, as young people. Per Dom, per Dom, PlayStation per people. Dom. <laughs> and the so more sophisticated, <laughs> higher end, more experienced player plays on Xbox. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> like I'm Please listening to Brian Man. face. He's like, play, I don't get he's like, I don't got no skin in that game. I don't play got your, no skin. <laughs> play your Spider Man and shut up. <laughs> oh, that, that's what it is, bro. They jealous of my remote play Spider Man. That's what it is. They want to play take, it. And they they have to pay fucking two ninety nine and sixty dollars for the game itself if they want to do it, right? Go take your selfies and on top of your Empire State building. 
Exactly. See, see those exclusives. Got them. Got them. Where I went. Got them. So, all right, that's gonna do it for us tonight. You just mad that Spider Man don't go to Jersey, motherfucker? <laughs> yeah, well, listen. He turns around as soon as he smells it. He's like, "Fuck that! I'm out of here." Yep. Yep. Well, he's got nothing to swing from. Remember Homecoming? Remember he tried to leave that house party, yeah. and he's like, "There's nothing for him to swing from." <laughs> I love that part of the movie because it's so true. I always wondered that. I was like, he, he's. He's absolutely powerless outside of the city. Can't fucking travel. Exactly. He needs a car. Ain't no superhero if he's not in the city. <laughs> <laughs> he's a hero anyway. He's a hero. We just step on the. We step on him when he comes out to Jersey because he's just a plain old fucking spider. That's what he is. All right, all right. Let's wrap up, guys. Um, get some where you at. Go around the yard and you know. Well, tonight. Uh, Brink, I'll start with you, bro. Uh, at Brink Lazar on Instagram. And uh, tomorrow night, people, I just want to warn you we don't know if there's going to be figure banging. We just don't know. We're getting a big snowstorm here. And uh, Ace might have some trouble getting home from work. So we don't know. So hit that bell and. Wait for the notification. <laughs> Wait for the ring. <laughs> Wait for the ring. Yep. We'll see. We'll see. Just in case um, Ace doesn't make it, would there possibly be a shelf craving maybe? I don't know. JP? Uh, probably not. Oh, so no backup for you. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Oh, geez, like, we'll see. Yeah. I, I don't want to. I do. don't want to deviate from our schedule because uh, I don't know. Apparently, Ace likes his nights. So, oh, that's sick. You just do it twice, two weeks in a row. <laughs> that's it. Yo, well, yo, Ace, JD just said, "Fuck you, Ace." But you didn't want to say that. Fuck <laughs> <you>. <laughs> Actually, what would happen is, is we wouldn't switch nights. Basically, we'd end up with three shelf gravies in a row. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's a lot of work. It's yeah. a lot of it's a lot of gravy. A lot, a lot of, gravy, of gravy, bro. A lot of gravy. Hope you have a gotta, boat. Gotta watch yeah. it die. Maybe less is more. We'll see. We'll yeah. see. All right. So, JD, <laughs> let him know. Let him know where you at. Uh, shelf gravy pigment surgery Tuesday nights here with these fellers, and uh, maybe or maybe not tomorrow. All right. We'll see. Pray for we will Hashtag Open pray night for of programming. <laughs> On the Realm of Collectors channel. Yep. Who knows? Who knows what that? We'll, we'll do something. Knows. We'll do something. We'll do something. Let's see. All right, Dominic. You can find me on the Facebook groups, Dominic Grasso, here Tuesday nights with you guys. And enjoying, seeing, hoping to see what comes out. When is the, when, when is the next one? Is it Obi-Wan? The, the, that's the next series that comes out? Or is it something else? Is it like, what is the next series that... Yes. Oh, the Bad Batch. The Bad Batch uh-huh. is the next one. Yep. That one. Ahsoka. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's the next one. Mm-hmm. Star Wars. Okay. Oh, that's the next one. Ahsoka, I think, might be the closest that might drop. And Bubba, Bubba Fett is the next one. Yep. <laughs> yeah, He's Bubba. a country boy. <laughs> <laughs> trying to make his way through the country. <laughs> he wants to be. He wants to be a. Uh, Moisture evaporator <laughs> rancher. <laughs> oh. or try, to, try, try, oh. to live, try to live Andrew. a simple life <laughs> in the galaxy. <laughs> Endor. Not Andor. You got to put, put a pin on that one, man. Yeah. Oh, Andor. Oh. Andor. Oh, Andor. Who's going to watch that shit? <laughs> you are. You wrote it. No, I'm not. You go, oh, we'll be. So I'm calling it. So, I mean, <laughs> what do you think? Rogue Squadron after episode nine, I'm going to suspect Bullshit. that, what, they're going to be hunting down leftover for First Order people or something, I guess? Or... Where the fuck were they during all this fighting? <laughs> Where the fuck was the Rogue Squadron? 
Yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck were they in episode eight when they were fucking going three miles an hour, getting fucking <laughs> the whole time and not doing nothing? Well, if you remember okay, correctly, Rose they were on vacation. <laughs> they, they, no. Don't you remember? They were searching Red? for head and shoulders. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Colin Actually, Red. what happened? I fucking told you. Hey, you know how hard it is to find head and so, shoulders in the galaxy, dude? It's really fucking hard. <laughs> it's not like a CBS were, that they can go to, you know? Nope. So Rogue Squadron was a comic book that got <laughs> uh, decanonized. Oh, squadroning around. <laughs> 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 squadroning around. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah! To do it, to fuck everybody. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a it was a comic book that they they shelved it, you know, because of you know, oh, it's legends, it's not canon anymore, and now all of a, you know, until so they want to they want to do something with the property. Now all of a sudden, it's. Yeah. Oh, dude, if they want to bring stuff back from Legends, they should uh, they should make Mara Jade the the person that Grogu called while sitting on the rock. Yeah, we need more redheads in Star Wars. That was Luke's girl, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember yeah. that from the old uh, old school <laughs> expanded universe stuff. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, Dave. I'm sorry, we were doing outros. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> You can find me here on Tuesdays. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you can find me here Tuesdays and um, on Instagram, and a John Addict, David Colon in the Facebook group. All right. And as for myself, Harry can be X, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, here every single Tuesday night. With my boys. And uh, Monday night, Censored the Realm. Check out Verbally Challenge. Content coming soon, soon, soon. And. Um, Check out the other shows, as Brian said, here in the Realm of Collectors YouTube channel. We'll see if there's going to be a new figure banging tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Uh, check out the ladies at the Realm on the Total po- Total Package Podcast. Say on, it, Dom. On that YouTube channel. You can check the ladies out. Total Package Podcast. Ooh. Boom. He got it. Check out uh, Friends of the Show. The Nerds Have Spoken. Those guys drop on Thursdays on the audio and video, so check them out. And uh, new show on Fridays. New, the newly rebranded Friday nights, 9 p.m. on this channel. Right? Nerd Life Syndicate. Nerd Life Syndicate. So, new episode coming to you this Friday. Check them out. And, uh, you know, we'll be seeing some stuff from Brammer 2 coming soon. I know, I know. Check them out. MPSP is uh still alive in one way <clears throat> so all right guys that's gonna do it for us thank you for hanging out chat squad you guys were awesome thank you for hanging out with us tonight um take care stay safe and peace out we'll see you next week oh thanks everybody peace turtles toodles say it with me now Really? 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 Really?